Rafi did um, sessional kinder for a year and it wasn't a super good experience. So we were looking for something that was different, completely different, um, more hours, not just for us for work, but also because we wanted something that she could feel like she was at home at and doing five hours a week somewhere is not the same as being at home. So we looked at a few different child cares and picked this one and it was amazing. She was so shy, so um, nervous. She was freaking out over being left by us. And so um, the teachers here were really collaborative and hands-on with sort of getting her into a, a place where she could feel safe. One of the teachers sat, set up a little play um, area with Rafi and then took photos of her playing in it, went and printed them off, laminated them, and then that day so that we could take them home with us and then Rafi could actually sort of consolidate that um, memory at home with us and tell us about it and had those to look at over the weekend and things like that. So that was a huge thing. Even though there are lots of kids, um, the ratios are such that they can actually provide some like attention when the children need it. The kinders do the excursion to the library and they go to the aged care um, and she loved that, being able to go on a bus, uh, like a real public bus. It's a practical skill, it's teaching them confidence in the real world which is important, you know, not just for the next couple of years at primary school but in their entire life. They caught a bus on their own without their parents. They trust the kids, they trust four and five year olds to go on a public bus, that's huge. So I think kids rise to the challenge um, and the more that you trust them, the more that they can, they will, they will prove that they're, they're, they can do that. So I think that that's really great. They, they treat them like human beings here. You know, walking up to the library, doing that, that's a real world skill that they're doing and they're having trust with the books without their parents' involvement as well. Their parents aren't there to make sure that their books are taken care of, their library books, they're in charge of it to a certain extent. So. Having that trust in children is a huge thing. They could just set up some toys and they could just um, have them playing all day and the kids would probably be happy with that because kids are just happy just playing. But to really sort of push them to become whole human beings, I think is fantastic. All the incursions that they do, they still talk about um, the um, Aboriginal um, group that came or, and they did the like didgeridoo stuff and, and learnt about that. They still talk about that from last year. So that was a big thing. I love the outdoor space. I love the way that they encourage children to be outdoors, whether it's playing outdoors or having their naps outdoors on nice days, eating outdoors, even on bad weather days, they still they put them under the cover and still have them exposed to the elements. It's not inside if it's bad weather and outside if it's okay weather. It's they try and do as much of that as possible. So I really like that. I think it's important for kids to be outside and blow off some steam. They also have like the worm farm here, which she really likes. They take the veggie scraps from the from Helen, who's the cook and or the chef, and they. Um, go and put that in into the worm farm that makes soil which or you know castings which they then put into the ground which they're growing their veggies from so they're learning from the you know and then they, they make those vegetables and cook them even if it's not a lot of vegetables even if it's not enough it's not a permaculture garden it's a really um, uh, concrete visual and learning activity for them to do to see that you know this creates this which creates this and they're a part of that which I think is really cool. I think that confidence is so important you know when they go from here they go to school and they're the preps and they're the smallest kids in the playground they're the smallest ones if they've already got that inner confidence um, they can navigate that place um, so much better they have a sense of self and they have a sense of ownership over what what their rights are and, and all of that I think that's really important.